my little robin's just come to join me like <laughs> so i'm just down here in the deep dark depths of a spot in my allotment that doesn't get used very much and i've just discovered the verpa conica or early morale this is a beautiful little springtime mushroom and though not quite as sought after as the common morale it's still a really really lovely edible put this one down here look. so a couple of distinguishing features of the verpa conica include this fairly smooth but still quite irregular shaped cap. It doesn't have any gills because the spores are released from the outer surface of the cap. So you can see it's actually just growing out of this piece of carpet here. It's a cute little mushroom, isn't it? It's got a quite a smooth but wrinkled cap and the stipe is quite hollow and firm and it's got this sort of tan colour that's a little bit ombre towards the bottom of the of the stipe there. So you can see my little basket of uh, Baconica and I've got some hogweed shoots in there and I'm just going to go into the shed to cut them open and show you the insides because it's really starting to rain out here now. So let's take a closer look at the Verpa conica or the early morale. Now these are also called the thimble fungus because of these little thimble shaped caps that they've got and they're also called the bell morale for the same reason. And if I took the cap off of the stipe, hang on let me show you, these are called the thimble fungus because the cap only attaches at the very tip. So if you imagine a thimble on a finger, the stem only attaches where the very tip of your finger would touch the thimble. The caps of these mushrooms are fairly brittle, but the stems are pretty firm, so it might be that you come across some little decapitated verpers in the woods. <laughs> so when we cut open the mushroom, you can see how the cap's hollow and it doesn't have any gills. On this younger one, you can see that little cotton-like pith on the inside of the cap there. Another distinguishing feature of the verpers is this white cotton-like pith on the interior. So if we cut open the stipe, we can see that on the older specimens that they're usually hollow. So this pith that the younger mushrooms have usually kind of breaks down and reveals this hollow stem. So that's a really good key identifying feature of this verpa species. So if we take a closer look at the cap, we can see that it's not quite as pitted as the common morales or the black morales or the true morale species. You can see all of these really beautiful striped markings on the stipe here. But it's a really pretty mushroom and fairly uncommon. I've not ever come across it before, so I was super excited to find this at the back of the allotments. So that is the Verpa conica or the early morale and it's the only mushroom of the Verpa genus in the country so a really special one to find.